Hey guys, I did a one and a half year test on putting foam, and this was the one that we didn't do to, and we did to this one and this one. These are all identical freezers. They're nine cubic feet, so they're just a nine cubic foot freezers. Um, that one's a different brand, but these, but they're all the same. Um, <laughs> parts are the same in them. All right, so we did this on these freezers. Um, I was taking an infrared gun and I pointed it at the floor. And the floor would be 68 degrees. I'd point at the wall, and the wall would be 74 degrees. I'd point at the top of this freezer, and it would be 49 to 52 degrees. You know, it just depends. Um, that's uh, that's a significant, roughly 18 degree difference in temperature. So that means this freezer, these freezers, have to work much harder. They have to cycle more because the company, due to uh, people being complainers, the world of complainers, it ain't like the old days when your grandmother had the big Kelvinators. No, maybe I'm talking to younger people. Uh, it ain't like the old days when your great, great grandmother had the big Sears cold spot or the Maytag or the Kelvinators. Um, and their doors were very heavy and you had to lift them because they were well built. Now those doors were about a good inch thicker than these and as inefficient as those freezers were, they actually use less power than these do. The reason is they were built better, of course. Now, um, this freezer and this freezer, that one was the first one we did it to, just to see so I can compare. And the output difference is freaking unreal. All right. So um, we had a little cleanup in here and I had a paper laying in here. The pen is still here, <laughs> but I had a paper laying in here and I'd been writing down all my numbers, but the paper is gone. And I figured, okay, well, I better take before I forget and share these results with everyone. Okay. The results are now this one is the newest one. It got done to, and it's just half inch foam. That's it. It's no more than that. Let me show you what I use to put it on with. Okay. I just put it on with this stuff. It's just uh, 3M Super 77 Multi-Purpose Adhesive. And this it, it will come off, and you can clean this off with mineral spirits if you want to. And to be honest, there's nothing in these lids. So if you want to take this and you want to trim around it with, uh, say, some half-inch plywood, to where just you know three quarters of an inch and maybe a few strips in the center you can glue them on too but you can screw them through the metal it's not going to hurt nothing and then you can put this on top and then you can put you another little uh you know, or put fill the spaces with it so you're making a grid put this in here you can use three quarter inch you know like one by twos and frame out a top on it it's not going to add a lot of weight this is probably a lifting resistance of about five pounds they made these a lot lighter because, well, we live in a world now everybody's, a, everybody's just, you know, uh, sissified. So they don't make the freezers like they used to. They make them very light. I mean, just stupid light. So what I'm getting at is these are two GEs, and that one down there is a is a higher. But the, the, the guts of every one of these is identical. It doesn't matter. Now, the higher, because it is slightly insulated better altogether, it's not so bad compared to the two General Electrics. But I ended up with nearly a 28% reduction in energy use, doing everything the same, changing nothing, changing, not changing these down here, nothing, 28%. So um, what does that equal in a year? Okay, well, this one here claims that it's 100 or $87 a year to run this, 87, 87, you know, you do it all. Now, of course, these, these are on, where's that? That is off-grid power, so these run on the inverters. But that's more important to me now, because these running on inverters, the less they cycle, the less I need to create power-wise, and the more I can use for other needs. So, um, these here have now, at nearly a third reduction, more than a quarter, not quite a third reduction in power needs have made it to where there's basically four deep cycle batteries I don't even need to worry about. I mean, I could literally not have to buy them. 
but it's gave me extra power for stuff, running tools and everything else. And uh, I've also rang an air conditioner in the Holiday Rambler sitting outside, a one of those uh, Tatonics air conditioners, with the power I don't now have to send to this. So just by putting half inch foam, a 1.93, now you got to remember that's 1.93 basically out in the open. If you have, like me, bonded it to a surface that's already an insulated surface, well, that, that could be as high as a four. Okay. But this made such a difference. Now we've stacked groceries all over this, and I probably should put some five millimeter Luan on these, build me a little grid to attach it, make a nice wood top that's not heavy. And it would probably be even better. I might hit exceed 30% reduction in power usage. But if you're going to go off grid and you're going to do like me, now I've got two more of these. So we have a grand total of five of these run off grid. But the the others, I actually put one inch on. So they now have one inch foam on them and, and they're, they're the same, but they're, the, they're in the other building. But these are back here in the pantry and the most common, you know, food stuff that we have. Um, those is what deer meat, you know, side of beef, things like that go in those. But these things right here now, are 30% more efficient with basically the equivalent of not even a full $10. I mean, what's 13, 14 bucks now, but when I did this is $10, 10 and a quarter for a whole sheet of half inch foam. And since they're not a full four foot wide, I didn't even have to use a whole half of, I mean, three quarters, but basically three quarters of a sheet of half inch foam. Now, this one here being the oldest, it has got some where the kids have, laid things on top of it and chipped it and and um, i think uh lamp oil got spilt on this or something and it's but it's not hard to get off see it's not hard to get off but it stays it doesn't fall off it doesn't go anywhere and it makes a massive difference so if you're on utility if you're just paying a power bill and you're looking at 87 87 87 now that's based on 13.8 cents a kilowatt I don't know if anybody's getting it that cheap anymore. I think it's averaging 16. So this is basically at 100, 100, $300 a year to run these. If you knock off 30% of that, you're only paying two, that's a hundred bucks a year. Is that worth it to you for $10 with the foam? If you're worried about how it looks, like I said, put some, something else on it, you know, um, carpet doesn't work. I seen a lot of people do that. They'll put carpet on the top. doesn't work, but that little bit of foam, create such a nice perfect thermal break that i'll be re changing this one out but it's unbelievable and you don't need anything more than than, than half inch honestly um the other ones i tried with one inch it didn't seem to make that big a difference i mean it might have two percent half inch creates enough thermal break between the air the air out here and the metal and it stops the transfer so giving you all a little update on a result and I had the notepad, <laughs> but you could probably understand the results. So I figured I'd share that with you guys because anybody that's going to be building something off grid or you know, depending on batteries or even a generator, the less you have to run something, the better you are and the longer it will last. I mean, we'll get more another year or so out of these for sure. All right. You guys be good. That is a just an update video. Uh, somebody had asked me about this probably about three months ago and I just literally paging through comments saw it and it works it works great amazing how well it works why they can't build these with better insulation I have no clue but y'all all know that the lids inside here let me get here the lids inside they're just um, they're almost like sl slightly flexible okay there's nothing, there's not much in them. It's almost like just an air gap. All right. Fix it. Make it save you some money.